The course includes an extensive unit on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges it poses to business and government as well as a discussion on possible solutions. In the fast changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage and sediment. Metal and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught alive, a fish that was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In multilingual countries, code mixing, the use of more than one variety in the same utterance or sentence and code switching, the use of different languages or varieties between sentences is common and natural. Despite its frequency or perhaps because of it, some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic mor morality 
view both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency. In this landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and lethargy of the poor are the direct result of the whole situation of economic, social and political domination by being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential value. It's a word of common reference which has common directional value. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. The office said that Professor Smith will arrive later today. <coughs> Student Services provides help with housing and transport. Student services provide help with house and transport. A study skill seminar is on for students who require assistance. A student's assignment is there for students who require assistance. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. Any texted references that you make should be cited properly in the footnote. The research paper should begin with a thorough review of the literature. The research paper should begin with a thorough review of the paper. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The aesthetic implications of this study are not yet fully explored. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. 
the inherent features between these two components remain to be addressed. Journalism is the collection and publication or transmission of news. Journalism is collection and publication or transportation of the news. The graph explains or depicts the large cities worldwide in three particular years naming 1950, 2000 and 2015. In the year 1950, New York was the highest city with 21 million population. Now Tokyo is the city with the highest population of 36 million. The second uh, largest city is Mumbai and third largest city is Delhi in the year 2015. Overall. Tokyo which was the second largest city has now shifted as first largest city from 1950 to 2015. The line graph shows the consumption of calories per day by the population of four different countries naming North America, Europe and Central Asia, World and Africa. The data is given for the period covering 1975 to the year 1995. It can be seen that the consumption of calories for Africa has increased over the years. Similarly, the consumption of calories in Europe and Central Asia initially increased and then declined by 1995. The pie graph shows the location of injury of people at various places. It can be observed from the graph that 41.4% of people get their injuries at home. Compared to that, 71.1% people got injuries while playing and 15.2% people got injuries while they were at work. 19.5% people got injuries at roads. A small percentage, 4.8% uh, uh, children got injuries in school and there is another 2%. Overall, highest injuries are there at home and roads. The line graph shows population growth of Sydney and its projected population from the year 1976 to the year 2031. It can be observed that in the year 1976 population was 30,50,000. 
in the year 2001 population reached to 4.1 million it is projected that by the year 2031 population will reach 5.3 million people overall there is a steady increase in the population of sydney the picture shows three tallest buildings uh, in various countries the first picture is of taipei 101 in taipei which is 1670 feet tall the second picture is of petronas towers 1 and 2 in kuala lumpur which is 1483 feet tall the third building is sears towers in chicago which is 1450 feet tall Overall three buildings are of very good height but tallest among them is Taipei 101 tower which is 1670 feet The line graph shows manufacturing output in UK from the year 1999 to the year 2007. It can be observed from the graph that in the year 1999 the manufacturing output was 100%. It increased to a high of 105% in the year 2001. Then it started dropping and by the year 2003 it came down to 93%. After that it again started increasing steadily and reached to around 103% uh, by the year 2007. Milk is not typical of all monasteries for many reasons. First, it is very grand. which most especially later foundations aren't secondly it was founded in the countryside whereas in the 17th and 18th centuries a good portion of foundations were made in towns thirdly it still owns a substantial amount of land because fourthly it lies in the austrian republic the only european country where grand old monasteries have been in continuous existence since they were founded 900 1000 even in one case 1200 years ago The lecture is about milk monastery in Austria. This monastery is very grand and it is located on the countryside. It has substantial area of land and it is unlike other monasteries which are located in the towns. Uh, it is said to be around 900 to 1200 year old. It is a very big structure and located on a river side. Uh, it is a very beautiful architectural design corruption comes at a, a huge economic and social cost and that cost is felt most acutely by the world's poor Dr. Arnold has already given the staggering figure of 1 trillion dollars US uh, that's paid in bribes worldwide. <coughs> It is an extraordinary figure. It's a figure that equals 10 times what is paid each year 
by donors in international development assistance, 10 times development assistance. And even this huge amount, $1 trillion, could be an underestimate because it's very difficult to capture uh, a number of the more elusive transactions within the public sector that involve corrupt dealings, such as budget leakages and, uh, and asset theft. Corruption sharpens income inequality and it impacts disproportionately on the poor. In many countries, corruption works as a, as a regressive tax on household incomes. Regressive because it impacts much more on the poor than the uh, more wealthy. Compared with higher income groups, lower income families pay a much larger share of their incomes in bribes to access basic public services and their overall access to those services is reduced. <coughs> the lecture is about the impact of corruption on the world. Uh, it is said that uh, due to corruption, income inequalities in the world have sharpened very much. It is estimated that around $1 trillion are given in bribe worldwide. It, it is 10 times of what donors give in development assistance. Um, it is uh, very important to, uh, it is very important to uh, capture this uh, corruption properly. This is Hans Krebs, who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg, Warburg also told him the same thing, um, not the same quotes, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them. The lecture is about Hen Krebs, who was a scientist who wrote a paper on sequence of chemical reactions and how the energy is released out of it. Uh, the Krebs life cycle is very, uh, um, very, very um, motivating because his father discouraged him a lot and told him that he cannot do big in life, but he uh, kept on going with his work. So it is important for parents to support their children, but some children do everything even without support of parents. To which of our senses do all of the following words relate? Opaque. Vivid, brilliant, shiny. Eyes. In a recession, does economic activity increase, slow down, or stay the same? It slow down.
In medical terms, are antibodies harmful or beneficial for patients? They are harmful. Would a person suffering problems with their vision consult a biologist or an optometrist? An optometrist. Would fresh milk last longer in a fridge or in a cool cupboard? In a fridge. Historians use evidence to draw conclusions about the past. Would a contemporary artist's painting of an ancient battle be an original source 